hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel my name is evidence in today's video i am going to show you how to connect to google drive and google collab so with that being said let's go ahead and begin there are two primary ways to connect to google drive when you're in google collab you can use the folder icon on the left hand side of the screen or you can use code snippets and I'm gonna show you both methods so um, to begin I'm gonna start with showing you how to use the folder icon on the left hand side of the screen to connect to Google Drive and um, the only downside to either method is you have to connect to Google Drive every time so you start by clicking here you go to your table of content and down here you see the folder icon you click it and here um, you get um, different file options over here is like sample things we don't want any of this um, to connect to Google Drive you see this third icon that has like the Google Drive symbol on it you click on it and then it asks you for permission to connect to your Google Drive files you can do connect to Google Drive and it says mounting to Google Drive on the bottom here so once you connect to google drive you can um, refresh your page to get back to this page and then right here it's under drive you can click on drive you see this additional folder called drive you click on it and you can see my drive share drive my drive you can see um, everything there and when you click on my drive you see everything in your drive so that's one way to connect to Google Drive using this folder icon. And to disconnect, you just click on the folder icon again and then say revoke access and assign a new runtime. And just like that, the drive folder is gone. So another way to authenticate is using code snippets. So if you go here like this code icon, you click it. And then from here, you just type in um, Google Drive. And once you type in Google Drive, you see many options for Google Drive. And you can click on the on the code just to see what it looks like. And this one, this is Martin Google Drive in your VM. Open files from Google Drive. Listing files in Google Drive. Downloading files or importing data from Google Drive. Importing data from Google Sheet. So you can kind of click through these options and kind of um, get an idea of what the code looks like. Whatever you click, the code appears here. But the one we are interested in is mounting Google Drive in your VM. As you know, mounting op open files from Google Drive. So if you are ready, you can just copy this code and place it in your code box. Or you can just click this plus icon. And there is the code and you can go ahead and run this. And to ask you for authorization, you do connect to the drive. It opens a screen. Mine opened in a different page. And you click on your account. You can't see it because mine opened in a second monitor. And then you click allow. And once you have authorized it, um, this should go away like that comes up. You just you can just um, work with it the same way you'd work with any file directory on Linux. So you can just do ls, and ls um, basically means um, list files, and it says my drive share folder share share drive. Earlier when I was connected here, you can, you saw that I had two folders, my drive and shared drive, so I can mcd um, into my drive here. And to do that, um, you do the percent symbol and then see this. And then you do my drive. And actually, it shows up right there. You click it. And it, show, and it shows uh, we are in G drive slash my drive. And then you can do LS again. You could also do percent and then ls 
and once you do that it will list the files and your folder in this folder directory so yeah this is um, really good for um, when you're working on a notebook and for like non-production work it will allow you to connect to google drive retrieve information from google drive and put data back in google drive that's it for this video if you like it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and share this video with anyone you want to anyone you think this video will be helpful to thanks for watching and i'll talk to you in the next video bye